Ten actors who gave directors a horrific time. Norton starred in Kay's 2001 film, American History X, which ended its post-production edit at 200 minutes. As the edit evolved, Kay cut the runtime down to 87 minutes, and Norton attempted to intervene in that process. During production for the 2001 film, The Score, Brando butted heads with Oz after Oz tweaked the tone of his performance. He called Oz Miss Piggy and Fozzie afterward. He then refused to take Oz's direction and made his co-star, Robert De Niro, relay the filmmaker's directions for him. Kilmer starred as Batman in Shoemaker's 1995 feature, Batman Forever. Kilmer angered Shoemaker after being condescending and inappropriate with various department heads and crew members. During a magazine interview, Fox smack-talked her Transformers director, claiming that he had a Napoleon complex which made filming a nightmare. She even called Bay Hitler and said that he acted accordingly on set. Ultimately, Bay fired Fox from the franchise. After filming the 2009 comedy Cop Out together, Smith took to Twitter to dish about Willis's incompetence on set. Smith said the veteran action star was bitter, emo, and unhappy, which Smith described as soul-crushing and disappointing. Before production, Norton rewrote the original script of lead years The Incredible Hulk and also tried to alter the film's final edit. While filming Stone's 1987 film, Wall Street, Young suggested to Stone that he replace Daryl Hannah with her, which he did not do. Young lobbied hard for the part, but ultimately disrupted the entire set and Stone wrapped her scenes early in order to drop her off at the bus station to get rid of her. Stanley Kubrick's notorious perfectionism has made several of his actors go nuts. During production of The Shining, Kubrick clashed with Shelley Duvall, who had not received proper acting classes and was used to having more freedom on her acting. David O. Russell has most recently garnered fame with the success of Silver Linings Playbook and American Hustle. What many people don't realize is that he made a powerful enemy with none other than George Clooney. When working together on Three Kings, the duo would frequently fight. Dustin Hoffman and Sidney Pollack bumped heads in the production of Tootsie. Pollock stated that Hoffman acted as if all directors were trying to go against him, so Hoffman would frequently act defensively towards suggestions. Mm -hmm.